everyone, welcome again. And of course, this time we are going to talk about your Heli module. So I hope that in one way or another, the short session will help you as you are going to do your module. But before we are going to start, allow me to pray for each one of you. Heavenly Father, Lord, we would like to thank you for you continually being with us throughout the session throughout the session in the past and in this session. Lord, may we continue with blessings, especially students that are watching this video. Be with their families, their loved ones, and their guardians who are supporting and helping them in their module. Thank you so much, Lord, for the assurance. You will be with us to help us to learn more, not only in the lesson, but more about you. Thank you so much for the assurance that you will answer this humble prayer. For this I ask in the loving name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Once again, welcome. And I hope that you are well wherever you are now. And at this point of time, I would like you to get your module. Go to your heli subject. Okay. Your heli. Okay. Heli, heli, heli. So let me share my screen. Okay. Okay, if you are going to look at your module in Heli, Heli, I mean, it looks like this one. Okay, this is the first page. This is the first part of your module. It says here, Heli for grade five. It is a modular approach since this is the mode where all of us learn, most of us learn these days of pandemics. So in a previous subject you have different learning design if you can remember your learning design in your bible is you have your save your science is life your english is love your filipino is kilog and now for your heli your learning design h is h o m e or home okay Again, learning designs are the sections wherein you can see inside your module that contains different, different activities, different uh, uh, things where, wherein you need to do to complete so that you will understand the topic well. Now, let's understand what's, what's this home stands for okay so for your h letter h stands for hop in okay this is the first part of the pupil's learning journey devotional time is the first step which leads the pupils to seek god's guidance followed by the introduction of the learning competencies and furthermore motivation is given which will link to the next part of the learning process as the same as your previous um uh, learning designs we always start connecting to the lord so that our our journey while doing this mojo will be a smooth sailing one it's good to connect to the lord first letter o o stands for organize Okay, in this step, the pupils is brought to the content of the lesson, lesson discussions, interactive questions, and assessment evidences for the enabling competencies, of course, are aligned in this part. And the letter M stands for move up. In this part of learning, you, the pupils, is led to integrate the learning experiences to the core values of the school, real life situation, and of course, other subject across the curriculum and of course your letter e it's exhibits it is the highest part of the learning experience leads the learner to be reflective and and of course conduct assessment proper exhibit skills learned and close and we always close every module with a prayer okay that's what your uh, home learning design all about. I hope it's clear and I hope you do understand. Okay, in your next page, you can see there, you have there the name. Okay, please do not forget to write your name 
your grade level, of course, it's grade five. Date starts when you started doing your module. And of course, the date ends when you finish doing your module. Okay. For our title, for our heli, we are going to learn this module, planning the vegetable garden. How you plan to make to have a vegetable garden. Okay. We are going to talk about garden. That's why if you can observe, my background there is a garden because we are going to learn how to do it. We are going to plan to make a vegetable garden. And it's not planning. You will do it in your home. Okay. Now let's start with your hop in. Okay. Galatians chapter 6 verse 4, it says, but let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in one another. Okay, now we have here a friend. Hey, this is Pearl, your friend, ready to assist you. Always whisper a prayer before starting. As you are going to, as I uh, always told you before doing things, it's either answering modules, waking up in the morning, going to the market before doing things, whisper a short prayer. Doesn't need for you to kneel down to pray, but then whisper in your mind, pause a little to ask the Lord's guidance so that everything will work well. Okay? So I am going to read this story called uh, entitled Child. It is published by Omason. Once upon a time, there was a rose plant. Okay, that there, you can see the rose plant. She was beautiful and a happy plant. People who passed by loved to see and smell the flowers of the plant. Everybody admired her and praised her. After a while, the praise and admiration of the people become, became very useful for her, and she wanted to do something more fulfilling in life. She prayed to God, asking for help. God appeared and gave her a seed. She was very delighted. She planted the seed, watered it, and took care of it. Her joy knew no bounds when she saw a small sapling coming out of it. That is my baby, she thought. The sapling grew into a beautiful rose plant. The mother plant immensely enjoyed taking care of it and loved to see it growing and flowering. She loved the shape, color, and fragrance of the baby plant. It became her world. She enjoyed the presence of the baby very much. She laughed when the baby laughed and cried when the baby cried. She was happy when the baby was happy and was sad when the baby was sad. She forgot her own existence. She forgot that she was a plant and that her nature was to flower. She became oblivious of the people praising her, the sun that helped her to make food, the raindrops that helped her to grow healthy. Nothing, nothing mattered to her except the baby. She found immense joy in her baby's mind. Everything about the baby was something great and extraordinary for her. She felt that the baby was the most wonderful thing in this world, and she was the best mother. She thought that she and the baby were one and the same. All the time, she couldn't think of anything except the baby, and she could not be anything else but mother. Being anything other than that, the mother was impossible and unthinkable for her. The baby plant was joyful, always smiling, playing, laughing, and jumping. She was blissful, playing with breeze, swaying from side to side, and playing with birds and butterflies. She enjoyed the sunshine, the clouds, and the raindrops that fell on her. But the mother enjoyed just looking at her baby. With mother's love, she grew healthy and beautiful and was flowering very well. She was a happy child. All the passerby enjoyed the sight, color, and fragrance of the baby plant. The mother was very proud of her baby. Everything was fine until the mother saw a huge banyan tree. She thought, my baby should grow as strong as that banyan tree. She told the baby, 
why can't you be like that banyan tree, tall and strong? The baby was taken aback. All this, all this day, she was thinking that she was fine and perfect and loved to be herself. Mother always loved her and accepted her as she was. Am I not all right? She asked the mother. You should try to grow tall and strong like banyan tree, said mother. The baby didn't know what to say. She didn't know how to grow like the banyan tree. She was sad for some time and then forgot about it and started playing and laughing. But the mother started pestering her every day to grow strong like the banyan tree. The baby didn't know how to do that. Gradually, she became very dull and stopped flowering. Neither she could grow as strong as the banyan tree, nor she could retain the beauty and aroma of a rose plant. She stopped smiling, playing, and enjoying things. She couldn't even enjoy the sunshine and the raindrops falling on her. She, didn't, she did not jump and play with the breeze. She ignored the birds and butterflies that came to play with her. Seeing her, Mother Tree felt worried. Why my baby was become a doll? She started asking all the other trees around. You are nagging her every day to grow stronger. Let her be herself. She will be fine, they advise. Am I nagging her? Is it wrong to ask her to improve herself and become better? I do everything for her own good. After all, she is my baby, she thought. No, she is not. A voice came from above. What? She is not mine? She trembled. Do you remember I give you the seed? I just sent her through you. She is my child. Now she recollected what happened long time back. She realized how foolish she was, how she troubled the baby plant, asking her to be what she is, not forgetting that she was a gift from God. What should I do now? She asked anxiously. All the seeds needs is your love and acceptance, said the divine voice. The mother realized is miss her mistake. She started discussing with the trees around her. Remember how you used to be before the baby was born? If you remain happy, strong, enjoying things, and give joy to others by flowering your baby, may learn from you and get those qualities. But she can never become a banyan tree. With a child needs your help. Be there for her, but don't hold on to her. Give her some time, space to grow. Just remember that you are a flower, a part of nature, a creation of the Almighty, a piece of God, and also a mother. She felt as if the whole universe was telling her, the God is telling her not to forget her own roots and her own existence. In fact, a part of her own self uttered these words. She stopped pestering the baby. She started loving her, praising her, and accepting her just the way she is. The baby plant again grew healthy, cheerful, colorful, and vibrant, and started being herself, and so was the mother. The mother also recollected how she was and how she was giving joy to everybody around her. Both the mother and the child decided to be themselves and respect and love each other. They remain not only mother and child, but also best friend forever. Okay, that's the story. Okay, of course, class, it's a fictional story. It's not true. We cannot see any rose who can talk. We cannot see any trees who have their discussion. But of course, this fictional story tells us a very important lesson. And what is that lesson? To be themselves, right? We need to be ourselves, but do not hesitate to be better, okay? Without compromising your health, your happiness, and of course, your will to live. You need to improve for the better without compromising your happiness, your health, and of course, your loved ones, okay? Now, let's go to the questions. Question, I mean. How do you appreciate the existence of the people that surround you? Paano ni mo ma-appreciate ang imong mama, ang mga papa, your brothers and sisters who are around you? How do you appreciate them? 
uh, do you did you appreciate them by by saying it verbally or or like you are the kind of person a child who always uh, give gifts write letters or oh, those are different way on appreciating somebody but of course the answer should be personal one each of you or me we have different ways on how we appreciate and how we show our appreciation to the people around us maybe for me i do uh, service or other ways but for you it's also different because god created us unique from each other okay now let's go to your mail your most essential learning competencies these are the things that you need to fulfill you need to do you need to understand and you need to learn as we end this as we end this module okay the learners must have demonstrates an understanding of the basic knowledge and history of growing vegetables and how it can help improve life enabling competencies the learners must have define home gardening discuss the planting calendar and explain the things to consider in gardening okay those are the things that you need to learn after this module okay let's have your warm up okay hey there have you ever seen such a beautiful sky look around you do you see the green plants and the beautiful flowers in the garden wow i haven't appreciated it for a while i'm quite so busy doing important things sometimes i don't have the chance to go outside to look in a beautiful creation our god made oh don't be sad come with me let's explore the wonderful world come and join me in singing of course this is one of the the many good songs that we have that has to do with the all things that surround us surround us okay do not forget to go around once a day or more uh once a day at least classroom around and enjoy the wonderful uh sceneries that you have there in your home okay do you know the song all things bright and beautiful i i hope you do others also use it as a poem okay the title is all things bright and beautiful it's by cecile francis alexander okay i'm not going to sing it for you since i'm not gifted with a golden voice but i'm going to read it for you and please understand each of the lines of this song okay by the way you can also watch or listen the song in the youtube okay listen this song in the youtube so that you will be uh really have a background or a real uh, grasp what is this song all about and how it is sung okay all things bright and beautiful all creatures great and small all things bright and wonderful the lord god made him all it's little flower that opens it's little bird that sings he made their glowing colors he made their tiny wings the purple headed mountain the river running by the sunset in the morning that brightened up the sky the cold wind in the winter the pleasant summer sun the ripe fruit in the garden he made them everyone the tall trees in the greenwood the meadows where we play the rushes by the water we gather every day yeah, right this is a very nice well written song which has to do with the surroundings that the god created for you and me okay now let's go to words for study what are the words that you need to study you need to understand hey fifth graders study this word before you continue with your lesson okay benefits what do you mean by benefits benefits means advantage supplies it's provision Productive, to produce in abundance. Recreation or leisure or hobby. Root crops, crops that grow beneath the soil. One of the example of that are sweet potatoes. Suitable or appropriate. Well drained, free from water that gathers the stay in a place. Steep slope, a sharply inclined terrain. Climate, it's the weather condition at a place for over a long time. When you say climate for over a long time, when you say weather, that is only for a short time. Heavy and clayey, 
soil, soil characterized as dense and sticky. That is a type of soil na sticky siya. Compost that is fertilizing materials consisting largely of decayed matters. If you are fun doing gardening, maybe your parents or your parents have that compost. They use that uh, as their pa abuno pataba wherein they use their uh, they use that in a pot, ginabutang sa pot, and dito'n latang na. Okay. Now let's go to your organized, the organized part. When was the last time you had fun planting? Have you planted in the pot, a small pot, or even on a wall? Of course, planting is not only fun, it's also productive. When you watch your tomato plant, bear tomatoes, and see them grow bigger every day, it really makes you feel happy and proud of your plant. Honestly, during this uh, pandemic class, most of us here in the campus are doing gardening, even planting rice in the rice field. We did it also. And of course, we uh, developed the, our love, rekindling our love of gardening, you know, even um, vegetable garden and even the potted ornaments. Right? We, if you can see, and this, at, at the back of our school, we have our garden there. And of course, in our house, we have the potted uh, ornaments. Okay, now, just think about this. We can all live and survive in this world if we know how to plan. Would you agree? You and me can survive in this world if we know how to plant. Why? Because if we know how to plant, we will not die in hunger because we have something to harvest in the right time and we can surely survive. But if you and me will just sit there, do not want our hands to be dirty with the mud and then we will die hungry, I would tell you. Kaya, develop your gardening skills. Do not be, do not worry to be, to be, to have a dirty hands, to have muddy hands, okay? Now, let's have read and learn. Home gardening is raising vegetables in the surrounding of the home, the backyard, front yard, and vacant lot near the house in pots, in cans and in other empty containers okay that is home gardening that you do not need a, a one hectare of farm wala kami duta ma'am that say i cannot do gardening no home gardening you can use a, a recycled like the the cans of your today's ano pa na, nga mga cans big cans you can plant any it could be a uh, vegetables or flower okay what is the importance of home gardening for vegetables? Number one, uh, there are many benefits that you can derive when you have a home a vegetable garden. Number one, it gives the family a continuous supply of vegetables for their everyday meals. You do not need to buy in the market. You will just harvest your, your organic vegetables where you grow it yourself. Number two, it supplies the family rich sources of vitamins, minerals, fiber that comes from these vegetables. Why it's good to uh, grow your own food. Number one is you are sure that, especially if you are growing organic vegetables, you can assure yourself that that vegetables coming from your own garden is free from what? Medicines free from those chemicals that may harm you, okay? It's good to make an organic vegetable garden wherein you did not apply any pesticide, any insecticide that can eventually also bring harm to your health. Number three, it saves the family from money intended for buying of vegetables. Yes, very true. If you have your own garden, then the money, which is allotted of for marketing of vegetables, then you can keep it because you have your own. Number four, it keeps homes surrounding green, fresh looking and for pollution free, right? Very true. You have that good, nice garden around, your surrounding would, would be would look nice the same with here or if you have something like this one. 
It utilizes spaces around the home to something productive, and it can be a family recreation and productive activity. Yes, it could be your, your recreation activity, your form of bonding with your family. Instead of sitting in front of the TV, watching movies, sitting there and playing your phone, doing gardening together with your mom, with your dad, with your brothers and sisters, it's, it's much fun. And of course, it's a productive one because at the end of the day, you will reap what you have sown. Okay, do you still remember our first parents? Yes, Adam and Eve. They somehow live in a garden of Eden. God provided everything they needed, including their food, water, water, air, shelter, and etc. But then they disobeyed God. That's why they were forced to leave the garden. But though they sinned against God, He still loved them and blessed them. The difference was the difference was. They will now till the ground and plant something for them to eat. What about you? Do you have a garden at home? Okay. Do you take good care of your garden or you're just there sitting, playing your phone? For you, what is home garden? Garden. garden. Define home gardening in 25 words. Of course, using your own words. Okay. Do not repeat what is written above. above based on how you understand home garden how do you define home garden what is home garden 25 words be sure to count the words because i am going to count it uh, when i check your word okay i hope that's clear now let's let's have the classification of vegetables vegetable scraps okay number one according to parts used to as food according ano nga part Anak nga vegetable ang ginakaon. Okay. Letter A, we have the le, we have the leafy vegetables like malunggay, malunggay leaves, saluyot, kamuti tops, kangkong, ampalaya leaves, spinach, squash tops, sayuti tops, and a lot more. When you say leafy vegetables, ang ginakaon na nga part is the leaves. Amulang na ang ginakaon na to. Number, letter B, we have the root crops. Like kamote, kamuting kahoy, the garlic, the ginger, the onion, the carrots, radish, and turnips. Those are root crops. Wherein we did not, we are not going to eat their leaves. Maybe some will do, but most of them ang ginakaon is their roots, root crops or their unud sa dalum sa dita. This letter C is the fruit pods and seeds like cauliflower. Bagyu beans, broco broccoli, malunggay fruits, squash flower, kondol, patani, upo, and squash. Ang ginakaon natin is ang ilahang nga prutas or ang ilahang nga mga pads. And of course, the seeds. Okay, so we also have that. Next, according to season. According to season. Vegetables raised during dry season. Ano ang mga vegetables nga? Gakabuhi, ginatplant sa ting inip. Okay. It includes lettuce, spinach, cauliflower, and of course, green peas. Of course, we have also vegetables raised during the wet season or ting ulan. We have the eggplant, the okra, the tomat, tomato, and the potato. Those are some of the examples of vegetables that raised during wet season. I mean. Now, let's go to your number three, according to length of life. The span of life. Ano giduga yun gakabuhi as na mapatay? Letter A, we have the perennial vegetables. These are, are those that can be raised throughout the year. This includes kamote, malunggay, patani, talinum, and sayote. When you say perennial class, mabuhi sila. Throughout the year, hindi nga two months lang patay na, makabunga lang kaduha patay na. No, when you say perennial vegetables, no, they will last long, like a year, okay, or more, okay? Example of that is malunggay, your kamote, your patani. Those are examples of vegetables that have a longer lifespan. Next, letter B, we have the annuals. These are vegetables that are raised once a year. 
they are usually raised at different months of the year referred to the planting calendar. So, mga annuals, kaisa lang nid ka magtanom ano nila sa isa katuig. Depende sa planting calendar. Nanas na yung mga season nga ginasunod. Okay. Do you know that it is important to plant? Yes, it's very important to plant class. Back to the beginning, God made every herb bearing seeds, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every fruit tree is yielding seeds for us to eat. So here's a planting calendar for you to be guided in planting vegetables all year round. Okay, now we have here the planting calendar. Okay. Use a plant calendar to know the proper time for planting different crops. Here is an example of a plant calendar. Find out if this sample calendar is also suited to your town or region since different plants require different types of soil and climate which differ from one place to another. Of course, it, it doesn't mean that since it's in the, in the planting calendar, it's always correct because we have also different season in different town. That's why we also need to be mindful and to be observant of the season in our town. Okay, all year round. Okay, all year round. Like all year round, pwede. We have the ampalaya, the corn, talino, mungo, kamote. These are these are plants nga pwede ni mo matano maski ano sa all year round gini mo na siya pwede matano. Okay lang no season kinalan. January, we have beans, cabbage, sitaw, cauliflower, eggplant, lettuce, okra, sayote, patula, tomato, opo, mustard, radish, pash, and pizza. By February, we have also the beans, the cauliflower, patola, cucumber, squash, pizza, radish, little sitaw, and tomato. March, we have the beans, cabbage, lettuce, soybean, and tauge. By April, we have the bataw, cadius, patula, okra, radish, mustard, lettuce, eggplant, sitaw, squash, patola, pichay, cucumber, and togi, and so on and so forth. These are the planting calendar. Why planting calendar is important? Because it guides us on what is the possible good plant to be planted on that specific year. But as I told you, it doesn't apply to all town. Maybe some of the town, your December is not that hot. It's not that wet season. So you need also to consider. Okay. Now let's go to here. Since most vegetables can be planted for about two or three months or more, it is a good idea to have few plots for each vegetable planted every two or three weeks so that your harvest is continuous through the month. This allows the continuous supply of vegetables for the family. The planting of different crops should be done throughout the year. A variety of vegetables should be planted according to the season. This is called crop rotation. Crop rotation is good for legumes, corn, and tomatoes. Using the same land for different plants make the soil more fertile and the plants healthier. Okay. As I told you, you need to have um, that uh, plant crop rotation. Okay. It's good like legumes. As I remember my dad before, what she did is like while planting uh, uh, like like he will not he will not like plant pasunod nga mais lang for example uh this time he planted corn after after the corn will be good to be harvested after that you he will not plant corn again he will plant like uh peanut or oh, that is crop rotation you iba iba nga mga kind of plant so that the soil will be still good so now let's go what can you say about the planting calendar? Discuss briefly the planting calendar. What can you say? Ano mahambal mo sa planting calendar? Do you think it's effective? Do you think it's good? And discuss briefly. Ano ang mahambal mo? Okay, when it says discuss, you can write as many things as you can based on your observation of the planting calendar. Are you, are you, do you approve with the planting calendar? Do you think is it, it's effective? In your hometown, you can write also the the example, like in your hometown, did you use um, planting calendar, so on and so forth. Now, let's go to things to consider in gardening. What are the things that we need to consider when we do gardening? 
Number one, choosing the site. Of course, pagpili isang lugar kung diin ka mag-garden. The growth of the plants depends on the site, the richness of the soil. And choosing a garden spot, look for a well-drained area because plants need water, which they absorb from the soil through their roots. The soil should also be rich in minerals that plants need. A garden site should receive a proper amount of sunlight for the plants to grow well. It should be leveled or gently sloping. A steep slope is difficult for plants to be cared in at four. In addition, water running down the slope may carry away the topsoil and seeds, of course. Uh, if you are planning to do gardening, to have your garden, you need to choose a good site. Why it's very important as what it is discussed a while ago, your plants need a good soil, okay? Because they get their foods from it. They need a good amount of sun because photosynthesis cannot take place if there is no sun. And of course, there should be enough water for the plants so that they will grow healthy. And of course, a uh, uh, site which is Banglid guy class, it's not that good also because that ang tanan nga top soil class na dala na rin sa dalong. So nutrients maybe is not that enough. Number two, selecting the plants. Select plants that are suitable to the soil and climate of the region. Crops like cauliflower, lettuce, baggy beans, carrots, sugar beets, and potato grow best in rich soil and cold climate in Baguio. Sweet potato, native pechay, cassava, and onions are easily cultivated in the lowlands. To make sure that the crops are of good quality, choose mature, clean, healthy seeds. Farmers usually dry and keep good quality seeds for the next planting in order to have a good harvest. Yes, very true. In selecting also the plants, you need to consider um, Chakto ngay duta and of course the climate of the region. Alanga naman you are going to plant, um, uh, you are going to plant uh, cauliflower lettuce in a place no parte parte ka init init, strawberries a parte parte ka init init. It's not that good. So you need also to consider the climate and of course when you are going to select a plant. For planting, be sure that the quality of the seed, the stem, is healthy enough to grow. Next, number three, sketching a garden. Of course, plan on paper to avoid mistakes in planting. In making a plan, be sure that all the plants have been enough room around them to make flower gardens look appealing. Plan to grow flowers of the same kind in a regular shape cluster. If the garden will be hacked by the fence or wall, plant tall flowers at the back of the bed, medium-sized flowers in the center of the bed, and short flowers in the front of the bed. When we are talking about flower garden, you need to sketch it. You need to plan how you want your garden to look like. Yung yun siyang planohon. Kung unsay gusto ni mga makita si imong garden. And it is suggested, class, the tall flower should be at the back, medium at the center, and of course, short flower should be in the front of the garden. Next, number four, analyzing the soil. If the garden soil looks and feels either heavy or clay or light and sandy, the textures needs to be enhanced. Add to the soil some organic matter like decayed plants or animal materials. The organic matter will loosen heavy clay soil so that the air can reach the plant's root. It will make light, sandy soil better and able to hold moisture, organ moisture. Organic fertilizers can also be used to improve the soil. It includes manure, bone meal, crushed bones, rice hull, plant parts and remains, vegetables and fruit fillings and others, and wood ashes. Organic fertilizers improve the texture as well as the fertility of the soil. As I told you, if you have the clay and heavy, light, sandy kind of materials, you need to enhance that one. Hindi pa by and why. If you are going to plant in a clay type of, of soil, what will happen to your plants? Mukubul na siya class because the because the the light cannot penetrate down. Okay, and it's not good for your plants. We need to consider these steps in gardening to have a better and healthy plants. 
the same as you are, there are many things to consider in your life. You have to choose the best thing for you. Don't settle for less. You can achieve more in your life. Okay. Deciding and making a garden is like deciding on what to choose, what path you will choose, right? Do not settle for less. Nga. Do not settle for okay na ni, no. Choose the best. For the best will lead you to what things you want to be. Now, let's go to preparing homemade fertilizer. How are you going to prepare a homemade fertilizer? Number one, dig a compost pit for making compost or fertilizer. Make the compost pit in one corner of the backyard where it is hidden and cannot be smelled. The compost pit can measure one meter wide, one meter long, and one meter deep, or it can be smaller than this depending on the amount of the biodegradable materials thrown in a compost pit and the amount of compost needed for your vegetable project. Compost comes from thoroughly decayed plants or animal matter or both. The following are the materials used for making compost pit. It is advised that to have this compost pit because if, if you really love gardening, it is a big help for you. So you have the kit. The number one, kitchen refuse or leftover rice, viand such as fish, meat, cooked vegetables, and others, um, vegetables and fruit peelings, and others. Number three, grasses, weeds, and dried leaves. Amulang ni sila ang dapat ni mibutang si mong compost pit, mga malata, or the biodegradable materials, mga dahon, panit saging, fruit peelings, and of course your. Mga panustan nyo, mga pagkaw, you can put it in your compost pit because it will decay and it is a good fertilizer. We have also farm manure, mga tais ng mga fowls nyo, sambaka, and carabao horse, and so forth. Straw and rice hulls, of course, the succulent stems of plants, wood ash, garden soil. Okay, butang na ni and you are going to wait until it will decay and become a compost healthy healthy na sang duka mix these materials in a compost pit or pile them on the ground until 30 centimeters high cover with banana leaves or other big leaves to keep it moist the compost pile should be turned every few days push a bamboo stick into the center and after two minutes pull it out it is time to turn the pile with a stick if the pile is quite hot or dry or smell bad. In turning, first gather the materials from the old pile and place it in the center of the new pile. Then, turn the materials from the inside to the new pile. Sprinkle enough water in the pile every time it is turned. Allow to decay for four to five months. And then the compass is in the strain and mix in the golden garden soil to keep it fertile. Making your own compass saves money because on one does not have to buy anymore at the same time it is easily available because it is in your own back backyard that's the importance of having your own uh, compass pit or garden soil there okay let's do this take a picture that you're making a compost and paste it here okay ano gani ang obrahon you need to take a picture that you are helping making a compost pit. It could be a small one or a big one, and you need to paste it here. Or either you can take a video of yourself helping your mom or your dad making a compost pit, okay? And send it directly to me, okay? You have two choice here. You can take a picture of yourself helping in making compost pit. Of course, you cannot do it alone. Ask somebody in your house to, to help you and encourage them to have this compost pit so that you can start doing uh, gardening uh, in four to five months of time. Okay, paste it in this time. Okay, remember this. These are the things that you need to remember. Home gardening is raising vegetables in the surrounding of home. The backyard, a vacant lot near the house, in pots or in used cans and other empty contain containers. Benefits derived from home gardening are the following. Supply fresh vegetables for the family. It saves spending money in buying vegetables. Makes the soil productive and can be an added income if some vegetables are sold. 
Vegetable crops can be classified according to parts. You have the leafy, the root crops, the fruit pods, and even the seeds. And according to season, wet season and dry season, according to the length of life, we have the perennial. And according to the length of growing periods, we have the annual. Number four, the plant's calendar tells you what vegetables can be planted every month from January to December. Five things to consider, to consider in home gardening includes choosing the site, selecting the plants, catching the garden, and of course, analyzing the soil. In Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10 class, it says, whatever your hands finds it to do, do it with your mind. mind. It, do not do it while murmuring. What? Whatever your hands find it to do, do it with your mind. Like your activity, the things that you need to do, like making a compass fit. Do it with all your mind. Why? It's good because you are helping your fam family to have this healthy vegetables and flowers if your compass fit will be decomposed. I hope you can send it to me after. Now, let's go to your move up. Okay, your exercises. Okay, it's a multiple choice. What you need to do is to encircle the, the letter of the correct answer. Number one question, planting vegetables in one's backyard, front yard, in a plot, or in a pot, or in a can is called blank. Letter A, home gardening. Letter B, vegetable garden. Letter C, backyard gardening. Letter C, school gardening. Again, if you have, still have some doubts, if you still have a hard time, please do go back to our discussion and understand. Because answers are, you can find all the answers in there. Number two, all except one are benefits derived from planting vegetables. This one, exception. Okay, letter A, all except one are benefits derived from planting vegetable, except one. Unsa na ang dili diha benefits? Letter A, increase the food supply of the family. Letter B, provides an added source of income for the family. Letter C, provide additional expense for food for the family. Letter C, contributes to the economy of the community. I hope you do understand each statement. When you say next number three, there are many var varieties of vegetable that can be planted. This increasing varieties is due to blank. Letter A introduction, breeding, and selection. Letter B hybriding and crossbreeding. Letter C breeding and propagation. Letter D crossbreeding and propagation. Number four. Things to consider in gardening are the following except okay ano lang daw ang hindi. Letter A, choosing the site. Letter B, selecting the plants. Letter C, making the plot. Letter D, analyzing the soil. It's there. It was mentioned a while ago. Number five, bam bam bamboo sprouts, malunggay, kangkung, kamote tops, and spinach are example of letter A, green leafy vegetables. Letter B, le leafy and stem vegetables. Letter C, fruit and leafy vegetables. Letter D, fruit and stem vegetables. Again, you can go back to the examples and analyze if this example mentioned in question number five are uh, belong to the different types mentioned in the choices. Now we have your exercise number two. Well, for your exercise number two, you will have to explain. Number one. Why do you need to make your own compost for your vegetable garden? Why do you think you need to make your own compost for your vegetable garden? Nga -ah. Explain it here, write it inside the box. Number two, why do you need to develop the skill in gardening? Nga -ah, important nga kabalo ka mga garden. Why do you think you need to develop that skill? Okay, write your answer in the box. And of course, you have your exercise number three. Check your practices. Did you enjoy gardening? What things do you do in gardening? Put a mark in the column that applies to you. Okay, a few. For example, number one, I am fond of planting plants in, in pots and in the yard. Always, sometimes, never. 
Checkan mo lang kung always permi permi. Sometimes usahay never in the pagid malingaw. Number two, planting to me is an interesting and productive activity. Number three, I water plants in the garden. Number four, I dig the soil and help remove stones and gravel. Let, number five, I remove dried leaves and weeds from the plants. Number six, I apply some fertilizer to make the soil richer. Number seven, I study the planting calendar so I can plan when and what to plant. Number eight, I can classify different vegetable crops. Number nine, I can identify different, different tools for planting. Number 10, I use the right tool for the right shot. Okay, you can check. Always, sometimes, never. Reflection. How much do you enjoy gardening? Let's find out. Score yourself three points for every for every, every always answer, two points for every sometimes answer, and one point for every never answer. Total your points. If you score 25 to 30, you are, you are indeed a very good gardener. If your score is 20 to 24, you are still a good gardener. If you are 15 to 19, you are a fair gardener. If your score is 10 to 14, you need to improve. Whatever your score, always find opportunities to do gardening. Okay? But please do answer honestly. Do not just aim that you will you will, be, you will become a good gardener even you don't enjoy it be honest in the answer above now it's time to plan your own garden discover the fun and enjoyment in doing it okay i hope that you will make your own garden especially now that you're staying in your home okay if it's possible you need to if it's possible, make your own garden. Mom, we are in a subdivision. We don't have a lot where uh, we can make our garden. Then use pot. Okay, plant in a pot. Okay, or in some cans. Okay, you, you are going to do that. Huh? You need to plant. You need to do home gardening. Now, exercise number four. Let's do this. Write a five-line composition about the benefits of home gardening for the home and for the community. Five lines lang class. Five short lines. That is a composition that has, that tells what is the benefits, what is the benefits of home gardening sa inyong mabalay kag sa mga tao sa paligid. Five lines that tells the benefits of home gardening to your home and of course to your community right in this part. Okay? Now let's go to the last part. We have your exhibit. Okay, this is your performance task. Okay. Okay, what you need to do? Visit a vegetable garden. Of course, not in school or nearby nearby area. Observe how the plots are made, the type of soil, and the vegetables that are planted. Make a video of your observation and pass it through messenger okay of course it's impossible for you to grow your own plants at this short period of time this time i want you to visit okay visit a garden it could be a flower garden it could be a vegetable garden what you need to do is to observe the plant you're going to video it take a video for example you will say oh this is a Today, I am visiting the Guerrero farm. And now, as I can see, we uh, I can see here many cact uh, cactuses like that. You're going to observe the plot and the, the type of soil and other plants. You're going to explain in your video, okay? And you're going to send it to me. Next, number two, draw your plant garden in a sheet of plant paper. This is easy. You are going to draw your plan for your garden. Maplano ka sa imong garden. It could be a vegetable garden or flower garden as long as the plan is there. The plot, how you are going to arrange it, what kind of plants you are going to plant there, you need to write it. Now let's go to the core values. Of course, what do you think are the values that you learned out of the lesson in this module? Okay, we have our CPACES core values. I hope that you still remember. And while uh, thinking 
revisiting about our topic, what core values do you think you learned out of this lesson? Is it child friendly? Okay, we have the different core values, right? Please do remember all of those. Now let's go to your, your reflection. Answer each question. Number one, what part of the lesson you found difficult? Did you ask for help? Di in your part na list dan ka, nagpabulig ka ba? Number two, what part of the lesson or module you like the best? Di in imong nanamian na part. How can you apply this lesson in real life? Di in ang nanamian ni mo, kag paano ni mo ni siya ma-apply sa imong real life? Number three, how can you make your work better? Paano ni mo mas mapanami pa ang imong ubra? Write it there in the blank provided. How you feel? Appreciate everyone around you for who they are, not for what you want them to be. We'll have individual differences. God made us uniquely, and in a way, He knows us perfectly. Let's have our prayer. Dear God, thank you for helping me in this way. Help me to take good care of the things that you have given me right now. I believe that when things become difficult, you are going to send help. Thank you for loving me and my family always. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, John 14, 23, it says, Jesus replied, If anyone who loves me will obey my teaching, my Father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. I hope that you learned something uh, out of our uh, discussion or our simple run-through with your module. And I hope that it helped you lighten you help you understand if it's quite too fast uh, i would like to ask for pardon since we need to have it as uh, quick as possible but then i hope that you learn something all of the questions that you still have in your mind i can still answer that just send your question in my just pm okay so maybe that's it do not forget to always use your hand and please love gardening for it is fun and productive. So that's it for today and for this subject. If you have some questions, you can directly PM me, my dear students. So thank you so much for your time. And I hope that you will do all the activities and the things that are expected to do in this module. Goodbye, everyone. Stay safe and God bless.